Microsoft Fabric, Data Pipelines, Alerts and Errors Written to a Teams Channel? Easy and quick? Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Next on Tales from the Field. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up. This is your first time finding your way over to Tales from the Field. Give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Monday, we drop our MS Tech Bits. On Tuesday, we drop our Azure Data Community Roundtable, where we feature content from the creators in the Azure Data Community for the Azure Data Community. Then on Wednesdays, we have another MS Tech Bits. That's a technical video that you're watching right now. So let's not waste any more time and get over to that great content. So we're going to start out by looking at a great block by one of my colleagues at Fast Track, Sally Daba. She has Notify, Outlook, and Teams Channel Group from a Microsoft Fabric Pipeline. Wonderful blog on the Fabric blog. You want to make sure and go check this out, but she showed just how easy it was for us to be able to hook up alerts to Outlook and to Teams. So let's head straight over to my Microsoft Fabric, and let's look at this. I've got a test Teams channel that I've created, and what I'm about to take you through to be honest, if we try and do this in Data Factory, it's not easy. It's not easy by a long shot. Sending a notification via Outlook, sending a notification via Teams, typically what we need is we need a Logic App, a Webhook. We need to be able to mix these two things together. Um, and then typically we're creating an activity that we reuse over and over again. But Microsoft Fabric has made this a lot easier. So I'm over in my Fabric workspace and I've already created a data pipeline. I'm going to go in and create a copy data activity and I'm going to use a source for my Azure SQL database and I'm going to use a query. Now this is meant to fail and that's very important because I want to trigger the fail activity. I'm going to select Azure SQL. I'm going to say, here's a query. And I'm going to show you real quick. We're going to use one we've used before when we created the dynamic pipeline uh, to be able to run and get our base information schema. But this is to the LAHEM 23 database. And what I'm going to do is while this query works, I'm going to break it. So I'm going to change this to LAHEM 2 because no LAHEM 2 database exists on my instance. That's no longer going to work. And I'm going to write out a file. It really doesn't matter where I write it out. I'm going to write it out to Lakehouse. I'm going to write it as a file. Um, I'm just going to browse and I'm going to select one of the first folders that comes to me, dim date, because we're not writing anything there. This doesn't matter. I'm going to say this is going to be test.parquet uh, and I'll even play along and make the file format a parquet. But again, the whole reason for this is for it to fail. I then come up to activities and oh, look at this Teams activity magic, right? So let's go ahead and configure this. And what do we get? I've got to sign into Teams. And so I'm going to have to authenticate real quick. You'll have to do this as well. You're going to have to have permissions to your Teams and the channel to be able to write to it. Uh, I'm going to click Allow Access, so that way I can access this. It's going to use my Azure Active Directory, my Intra ID, to be able to connect. I'm going to select the channel. I only have one channel for this, uh, or I'm going to find my team, Brad Team 1. And then I'm going to take my general channel. That's what I'm going to post in. Now here for the message, I'm going to make this dynamic. I'm going to start off with a concatenate because I want a little bit of text I'm going to enter. I'm going to say concatenate, copy activity, failed um, details. And then I'm going to get the copy data activity one. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to add that. And that's everything I need. I'm going to click OK, and that is going to be the error that is generated that is sent to my Teams channel for the subject. Uh, I want this to be exactly what it is. This is my MS Teams alert demo, and I'm it's for a failed pipeline. So I'm just going to say MS Teams alert failed. Now we can run the pipeline activity. Again, no webhook, no logic app, just a simple activity, the Teams activity. Uh, this is going to run. It's going to take a little while, queue up, and of course, we're going to wait for this to go. And what we're waiting for is we are waiting for the failure. And when it hits, what we'll do is we'll check our teams and see if we got our, asset, our message. Here we go. We're almost done and failed. Uh, the happiest I've ever been to see a job fail, right? There's the error details, but let's see. Did it post in my channel? Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I can see there is my alert demo. I can see that it failed. Uh, I can get all the information. And of course, it's pointing to the fact that it couldn't reference the tables in the schema. Ooh, this is good stuff. And this simplifies our life so much easier. 
So what did we cover? Well, we covered a lot. We showed how easy it is to be able to use Microsoft Teams modern messaging for alerts for our Microsoft Fabric environment. No more logic apps, no more cumbersome ways to be able to shape the email. Go and check out Sally's blog. It's in the description of the video if you want to look at how you can utilize an Outlook task. But wow, throw away the beepers. We've got Teams on our cell phones and we can just send our alerts there. I immediately think of how I could use this to be able to, to identify long running tasks with a job that wakes up every so often and throws an alert in Teams, specifically if I have that information from those jobs to be able to look at. Really, really cool stuff. You know where we like to keep this going, right? Down in the comments. Do you have any questions? Anything that we didn't cover that you've got some uh, questions about or something you'd like to see us cover in the future? We would love to hear from you. As always, thank you so much for spending time with us over on Tales from the Field. Be good to one another out there. Bye, everybody. Good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day.